All right, uh, today I'm gonna make a better camera mount because whenever I set the camera there, there's uh, just a copious amount of wind noise that comes over the, the windscreen. And then whenever I have it here, it's, uh, it's just kind of like all dangling willy-nilly like and the camera goes back and forth and then the image stabilization has to do a lot. So the battery dies within like 15 minutes of doing that. So if I can use those two pipes to mount right back here, right back here, come at each other and then intersect to make kind of like a, like a V. I can't use my fingers to do this, but make a V and then weld them together to a plate and to also account for the lid opening. And it should be perfect because uh, right now the dilemma with the camera being right here is that uh, it, it basically comes back right here so that it can gain more visibility. But when doing so, it doesn't allow the hatch to open and uh, being able to open the hatch in the event of needing it is more important than recording. So yeah, this should, uh, this design should solve that problem. So it'll come up effectively like right here and then uh, the camera will be like right here and should work out nice. So I'm gonna get these pipes cut to, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna keep cutting things until they work. So. Here is that. All right, so I figured out that I want these to intersect at a 90 degree angle. So these I believe are gonna need to be cut at 45s or yeah, I'll have to figure that out. But yeah, these need to be like so. So I'm gonna cut it down the, uh, down the line here and get them to intersect. And once I get that welded together, then I'll go on to the bottom sections. So this edge is exactly what I was going for. So I just needed to use the 45 degree cut to achieve that and the end of it has been cut off like so so you just you know that ends up with a 45 and that's how it's going to meet and then i can put my tab on here for the camera mount All right, so something like that. How the uh, the two inners are gonna go together. I'm just gonna weld a tack here and then start uh, trying to figure out what to do next. Ooh. That is what it sounds like whenever there is not argon. So
Okay. It's not the worst piece I've ever made. Looks pretty decent. Tried to round the top there. So now, get this out of here, illustrate how it's supposed to go. So something like this. But it's gonna lean forward like that to where if the lid is fully opened, the camera will not interfere with the lid. So still usable, but now I just have to figure out the plates down here. I have to cut out a plate that goes between right there. That is cut at a 45 and then uh, it's basically just gonna be a right triangle that fits up into that notch. And then we should be good to go. So I'm gonna cut out the plate now and weld that in. All right, something in here has gotta work. Should be able to just lop off the inside of this and call it a day. Uh, well, I'm glad I bought this pants off. It's not meant for that. It's not meant for that. It's like the best thing I've ever seen ever. Actually, you might be able to. Alright, you ready? Did you just do that? Shut the fuck up. I was just asking. Ah, oh, barely got it. I think it's good enough to hold it. Damn it! You were, you were roughly in the same location. <laughs> Thank you.
Uh, this is what we've come up with. Uh, plate for the sticky on the GoPro, uh, mounts on the bottom, little feet, and then it's gonna sit like this. We're gonna drill through the center of the boat or from the underside and tap it, and then call it a day. Pretty sure it's that one. Yeah. You wanna wait on this one? Yeah, that's probably good. GoPro, stop recording. Looking good. It's a uh, way overkill for a camera mount, but it's pretty dang good. So the uh, the sticky part of the mount will go right here, and the GoPro will lurch right over and uh, have a view of pretty much. This is the exact view that the the camera will have. Right there. So not half bad. And once that lifts up. Jesus. Enough space to clear it. So if the GoPro is on there, we can still actually get into the boat. Not have to worry about it. So that's good. Alright, this is done. <laughs>